Welcome to the video on blocking. In this first video we are going to look at blocking a project on a blocking mat with blocking pins. Now this crafter has somehow misplaced her blocking pins so today I will use normal pins because I can't find my T-pins for the life of me. T-pins work exceptionally well, much better than normal pins but normal pins can surely do the job in the absence of the one that I bought for this job but it will work. So what you need is a blocking mat this is these hard foam things that you get at toy stores or in fitness stores this specific one I bought as an exercise mat but I know the um, children's toy stores have them as well and you need pins. I'm just going to use normal sewing pins today because I can't find my blocking pins. Now what I have here is, if you look at this, you will see that it's very uneven. It's not nice and flat. The ends stand up a little bit and this is because it hasn't been blocked. So now we're going to block it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin it into shape like that. Let's start now at this side. You will see that I worked on that side. Now I'm going to the corresponding side at the other end. And then I will take the sides. Let's just put something here in the middle to hold it. I'm going to pull it slightly open because we want these points to come out nicely. Okay. You will see that even just by pinning it, you can see that you have a far better result than before the blocking. It just it gives your project that final wow finishing touch. Now there's two things you can do. You can either steam it or you can just spray it and let it dry. Now this is cotton. I am going to spray this one and just leave it to dry. Now you can adjust the points where needed to make sure that you've got a nice shape and once you're satisfied that you pulled it nicely open now I can spray it. In this bottle is only water, nothing else just water. I'm gonna dampen it slightly with the water and I'm going to leave it to dry. So when we come back, this will be dry and I will take the pins off. Now a word of caution here. Do not block your stuff unless you have washed it. If there's any um, dye residue left on the fibers, if you spray it like that with a water bottle, the dye will start running. It will bleed into the other color. So wash your product or your project before you block it, before you spray it like this with water otherwise the, you might have a bit of a color run especially if you work with hand, dye, hand dyed yarns like I normally do. I'm, I'm still adjusting the pins as you can see and now I'm satisfied. I'm going to leave it like this to dry and then we will come back and look at it again. Okay, our little motif is dry. Let's take the pins out and you can immediately see, wow, look at that, it looks so much better. All the points are nicely open, they don't curl, and you've got a much nicer piece on your table. It's as easy as that. A couple of pins, a bottle of spritz water, off you go. All you need to do, look at that.